Redback spiders are popping up in gardens and garages across Melbourne with weather conditions just right for the deadly pests. A bite from the female of the species can cause heart and lung failure as well as excruciating pain. And around 300 people are bitten every year in Australia. They're creepy and crawly and have a bite that can kill. Michael Simpson was cleaning his garage when he had an unlucky encounter with a red back. Felt a tickle on the back of my neck, shook the, um, the collar, felt it tickle again so I hit it. And because by, by that stage it had, it had bitten. I... In recent weeks, pest controllers have been inundated with calls from Melbournians who've spotted the spiders in their homes and gardens. They say it's the hot weather that's made them come out in force. We got humidity and we had some rain a few days ago, so there's plenty of uh, food for the spiders to eat. So we get about 20 to 30 calls a week on spiders. Redbacks live in most people's gardens, particularly in Melbourne's leafy outer suburbs. But experts say they should not be feared. Redbacks are part of the, the natural ecosystem. They've become part of our urban e ecosystem. Uh, apart from being careful about not being bitten, there's no, no reason we can't live with them. While a bite from one of these could land you in hospital, the good news is no one's died from a redback spider bite since 1956. That's when the anti-venom was introduced. And of course if you do get bitten by a spider, don't panic. Always collect the spider who bit you. Uh, if you can find it, and put a compress, a cold compress on the spider bike. Estelle Greeping, 7 News.